um, was from Star Tribune's Kim Palmer, who uh, reports on Victory Gardens. Uh, so have you ever heard of Victory Gardens, BL? During the war. Yeah, so my mother was a farm girl. She grew up on a farm in New Ulm, Minnesota. And, uh, and, she, and we, as a kid, always had a garden. She was, always had a garden growing up. Uh, we'd have strawberries and corn and beans and peas and all kinds of stuff. And so I, I grew up loving that. But, um, and I have a balcony that I have a, a garden on uh, every year. You found um, seeds? I, well, yeah, actually, I did. They, we <laughs> did, did not run out of seeds, but I bought a lot of them because uh, um, I usually buy them out of, the, out of you know, they're already grown. You, you replant them and everything. Um, but who knows if that's going to be available this year. So I bought seeds. Anyway, uh, this article talks about uh, Hennepin County Master Gardeners. This is an organization that recently called for a revival of the Victory Gardens. So the Victory Gardens are this thing that, that people planted their own gardens during the Great Depression and during World War II. Now, my mother, who grew up on a farm, they were never affected by the Great Depression because they grew up on a farm and had food all the time. Um, but right now, with the spot shortages in grocery stores, and, uh, and uh, it's easy to imagine the upstream problems getting fresh produce, uh, so they're calling for people to plant their own gardens. Uh, they have a guide basically on when it's best, best to plant certain foods and everything. Uh, the, um, the Washington Post ran an article on, on it reported on Yelp uh, producing data on businesses where activity rose the most uh, from, from the previous year. Guns and ammo were the top, of course, because, you know, apocalypse. Uh, but next, next was community supported agriculture. So that's where people are congregating now. So it is a thing. Um, the other we do thing, have community gardens in New York, but not where I live. Yeah. Uh, the last thing, though, is, uh, is related to this is Andrew Zimmern's uh, show on MSNBC called What's Eating America. Have you watched that? Have you seen it? No. So it's, it's great. Andrew Zimmern is a celebrity chef. He's, he uh, came up in New York. Uh, he is a Minnesotan, uh, but now he's got the show on, on MSNBC. And one of the segments was uh, examining the immigrant labor force that is basically the foundation of our food distribution system. Now we depend, they are essential workers, but a lot of them are undocumented, so they don't have access to the health care. If they, if they get hit by the coronavirus, and they surely will. And we don't eat. It, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, anyway, plant your gardens. <laughs>